So what's your mentoring philosophy? I think my main philosophy in mentoring is that I try to see what's the best in the, in the students, what's their best skill, and I really try to promote that more and more because I strongly believe that nobody should be pushed to do some a given career. They should do what they are best at. And uh, especially that's a big challenge with postdocs that sometimes they don't realize that maybe their best skill is not working on the bench. Maybe their best skill is doing other things, program manager, pro project manager, or things like that, or you know, going to industry. Uh, or going into uh, business and business analysis or uh, regulation and things like that. So I usually, and really, I mean, that's one of the problems that the whole biomedical field is facing is that the postdocs keep doing long and long, several years of postdocs, and after five, six, eight years of postdoc, they realize that, you know, their career options are not limited. So I decide that I give them one year of kind of settling in the lab, so to speak. And then I tell them that in their second year they should start thinking about what exactly do they want to do after their postdoc career. And for instance, if they want to go to industry, then perhaps they don't need to do a five or six year of postdoc. They, they should try to get out one or two good papers in three years and move to industry. If they want to do regulatory, then maybe they should spend some time getting some courses uh, and some classes and getting some certificates in that field. So I think that's really critical that, you know, in today's time, we don't force our postdocs to say everybody has to stay in academia, everybody has to do bench work, because some people are actually much better combining their bench abilities with other things and kind of helping science in different ways. So that's what I really focus on with my postdocs.